Shall we play a game? That finished a little bit quicker than I thought it would. That's okay. How are people? We've got uh, Rail Abel, I am 1234, Sophie, Mrs. Time Lord, and C and CCT Mitch. Greetings to you all. Let's uh, get this thing started and then we can chat. Sorry about making, running off to make a cup of tea, but I thought I had time, but clearly not. So I thought today, we might, unless there's any special requests, we'd uh, run the scenarios, so why not? I should change into the other jumper, shouldn't I? This one. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Hang on. You can just play some strip tease music or something. Feel free. Whatever makes you happy. And the answer to your question, Mix, was uh, very good. I am now endorsed on the Garrett. Wow. On the Garrett, it should be pink, but is in fact black. That would make Matt sad. So, we're playing on the Xbox today. Let's see how we go. Hopefully this will all work. What are we supposed to do? Sit in the driver's seat. Fair enough. Better put on a marker then so I know where to go. In there. There's going to be steps somewhere, isn't there? Yay. It's a bit awkward on the uh, Xbox, I have to say. I think that was my guard going, get the block. Yeah. You're new. I don't remember having assistance on the uh, PC version of this. That's okay. Master key. And... What's up? Put some switches on, apparently. Look at lights. And I think we should put on the high intensity headlight, don't you? Got the thing, may as well. Unlockers the doors. You can do that in the controller, that way. There we go. We've got a red light in front of us. We have a, uh, a bloke helping. Rail Label says, should I buy a TSW4? What I would suggest to you, Rail Label, is have a look on your platform for when the sales are on. Because they always happen at the same time every year. So guess what? Is there Guard? We need a window open, don't we? There we go. Window open. That's better. It's noisy now. Good. Let's go. Perfect. Charging. Got a green light. S. Whatever S means. Hello, Rails of Illinois. Eventually, the train brakes will finish releasing and we will move. There we go. Have a bit more juice. Oh, that's just running the silly hard, isn't it? Let's fix that. Let's just fix which hard we're running. Uh, how do I even do it with an Xbox? That way? That's not what I want to do. I want to go this way. Because I don't want to run the silly hard. I want to run the good hard. Uh, 
Accessibility. Dude, dude, dude. Hard type. Minimal. I must have had an install because I thought I had already done this. But anyway, back. Oh, that's better. Except it's kind of greyed out. Off we go. We ended up inside the bridge. Yes, we did. That's all right. So what's this one called? The Commonwealth Spirit. Yes. The last vestige of England controlling the world. They managed to stem their form. Fall, unlike Rome. Um, Railable TSW3 and TSW4 are essentially the same game, but there are new features in TSW4. And if you want to keep getting DLC, then I'm afraid every year you are going to be buying a new game. They have not announced that, but I just foresee it. I just reckon that's the way it's going to be. That thing looks like a snake. church on our right there. It might probably qualifies as a cathedral one that size, wouldn't it? The paces on the left. start doing it because this isn't the fastest train in the world. And we have a green. Where are we going anyway? Blackpool Moor. Well, there you go. So basically this scenario is just to run Blackpool Moor. Okay. That's fine then. Ray Label says, why do they make a new game with like, everything being the same? It's very simple. It's called economic commercial viability. If they don't make money, they will disappear. Development and QA team for this thing, excluding the volunteer beta testers, is over a hundred people. And if you did the maths, let's let's keep it really simple, and let's say they're paid $100,000 a year, which would be relatively normal. Probably more than that, actually. It's probably closer to about 160, 170. Um, just multiply that out. How it's, that's that's how much money they have to make each year just to cover their employee costs, let alone their indirect costs. Diorama on our right. Building a new road. It'd be cool if six months from now it was actually a, a national road. And it didn't look like this anymore. And these guys moved somewhere else to make another new road. Oh, we can move to the right or we can hit a truck. Our little mates there. So how is everybody anyway? Benjamin's brain in a jar. Hello, how are you? 
And it's not the same rail label, they have made quite a few changes to TSW4. New ways of doing things, new skies, new lighting. There are new core features that will become apparent in the routes that are coming out. Turkey on the old Xbox, isn't it? Mm, 24 frames a second, that would be why. What if there is round here that's causing that lower frame rate? It must be an asset that's not particularly well pruned. Kind of funny yesterday is my uh, return trip from Lakeside on the Garrick. We started to come around what we call Sweet Pea Corner, and there's CCT Mitch bouncing up and down in someone's garden. Bit of better beer in your hand, Mitch. Ray label says, okay, school is a bit stressful though. School is a little bit like that. I'd love to tell you it gets better in the workplace, but I should be here We have the global warming factory on our left. Curious what that actually is. Let's go look. So when I did this, let's go back to the train. Because now we should be next to it. Now we can go. Oops. There it is. See so what do you reckon they make here apart from pollution? I think that big grey building on the back actually says something. Springfields, maybe? Springfields? Yeah, I think it's missing some of the sign, maybe. If we get round this way, we'll be able to see it. There we go. Springfields. Whatever Springfields is. Big manufacturing area by the looks of it. inside the roof. Oh, I'm pretty good to see. I'm happy that I qualified on the Garrett yesterday. Not a loco type to play with. A bit lights, don't we? My examiner yesterday was Gavin, who is a relatively funny individual. But he's actually quite good to go out and work with. Frame rate needed. Frame rate, please. Oh, yeah, that's that sign down, isn't it? What places? I don't see that very often. We have to be down to 30 for the diversion. It's the brakes now, and that will probably be doing about the right speed by the time the brakes recharge. That's what you always wanted. Rain!
35. We'll make it. She'll be right, mate. I did report the ghostly windscreen wipers. We're probably not too far off. Thanks, C. We're probably not too far off um, getting a patch for this route, I would have thought. It's normally about two weeks after they come out, the first patch comes out. We cruise through the wilds of... This is the long name one, isn't it? Yes. Kirkman. All these people go, why can't we catch that train? Why are they special? It's like a big water tower up there. Yeah, you knew you could turn these on and off. Just realised you can. How interesting. Correct. Photo mode, new lighting, new rain effects and fog effects and new suspension. Also formation designer, there's, which is on the, it's not out yet, but it's coming. There is also being able to spawn any train you want, anywhere you want, anytime you want in free roam. And you can do that in the, as part of the timetable, or you can do it above the timetable. Or you can do it without any other trains if you want to. Yeah, so there's heaps of changes that are coming out during the lifetime of TSW4. Some work out with release, others will come out over the next six months or so. Clegg from JT. <laughs> All right, have fun, Mr. Rail Able. Enjoy yourself if you uh, are heading off to sleep. Oops, oh, I'm putting the brakes on for. Wrong side of the... I think the controller, interestingly, should be the other way around. Just for me. I should be allowed to swap them. For the simple reason is that on the Xbox... Not on the, X on the Xbox controller, the brakes are on the left and the throttle's on the right. But on the rail driver, the throttle's on the left and the brakes are on the right. So, it always confuses me. It's a bit like the steam valves for the injectors on the Garrett. One of them's backwards driver's side one is backwards compared to the other one. You don't get a lot of enhanced clag on the Xbox. Let's go out and have a look. Other end, maybe. Other end, maybe. Let's go this way. You get a little bit. You don't get lots of smoke on the Xbox, but you just can't cope with it. Yeah, let's get right into the smoke. Yeah, see it. That way. That way. That way. Okay. Okay, there you can kind of see it. That's about as good as it gets on the Xbox. Okay, so. says he's definitely getting a PC in a few months. Where do I begin on getting train sim classic? Ah. Well, it's about 1500 DLC for train sim classic and if you bought it all, I think the last count I saw was you'd be up for about 20,000 US dollars. So I suppose what we should ask is, what do you like? What do you like doing? Is there any particular country that you like? We have green on the home and on the advance.
in on the home. funny place in the route where we're actually cruising away from where we want to go right now. New York, Texas Railroad. Hello there. C wants UK based. Steam or diesel? Patriol 61. There are always plenty of sales, you're right. And as I said before, you should check when the sales usually are. Ooh, a little bit quick. You should check where the sales usually are for the platform that you play on. Because they tend to be at the same time all the time. It is morning, in fact, here, Patriot. Patriotal, actually, isn't it? Two, three miles to go. See, this scenario does appear to be just a run to the other end of the route. Probably not the most exciting scenario in the world, it's just kind of a surface. Oh well. And it's not even dark. So I don't know why it's called Blackpool Illuminations. Unless we're going to get delayed by two hours so it gets dark. That's possible. C says diesel. Best UK diesel route for train sim classic. I have to think about that. Artful says, do you know of and will you be looking at Railroader on PC in December? I certainly will. It looks quite interesting. Railroader, if you don't know it, is uh, a competing train simulator. It's based on US Steam. I've heard um, various discussions that it may or may not be a split-off team. Whoops. I forgot about the speed limit change. Why am I accelerating? I want to put the brakes on. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. We may not survive this. Let's see. Let's be on the outside in case we don't survive it, because it'll be look best that way. Be crashing the buildings. We are going to get round the corner. Okay, let's take the brakes off again then. A bit more charge. That was lucky. We did indeed survive it. It wasn't on. Okay. Look like it was. But it, uh, it may or may not be a group that has split off from railroads online. It's a bit hard to tell. But I know someone that works for another train simulation organisation, and he was quite sure that they were. But yeah, it looks cool. Lots more steam. They have centralised traffic control and you can be the dispatcher. It's done on a proper CTC panel. So it looks quite interesting. Um, they do have Empire building themes if you like. But I 
I don't think you actually have to do that. I think you can just drive. The developer is relatively active on their Discord and on their Steam page, so if you want to ask some questions, you can. I'll try to coax them into a freebie, but I don't think I'm big enough to interest them. So I'll just have to buy it, just like you like to. Patriotal doesn't mind how it's pronounced. Patriot is fine, or Patriotal. Mark B says, this is the only scenario you've played so far. It's not a very exciting scenario, I have to say that. It really isn't. Artful loved the reveal of the control board in Railroader. I get the impression they've got more videos coming for new features. Railroader so far is a single um, 54 mile route. It's loosely based on steam in the Appalachian Mountains on the eastern side of the country, which is around Virginia, West Virginia, that sort of area. Um, it's not a real route, and it's, at the moment they only have one. We have a yellow on the advance, so we will be stopping fairly soon so we may as well start slowing down now I like this thing this is an old factory being pulled down it's kind of cool It'll be interesting to see whether Railroader plays as good as it looks. We will at some point find out. Mark B was also hoping for illuminations. Yes. <laughs> yes, it can only go one of two ways. You have to try and remember the Possum Bourne rule, which he indeed failed. If you've never heard of the Possum Bourne rule, it's he was a car rally driver. He was, because he died doing rallying, sadly. But his theory was always shiny side up. That was his only rule of driving. The underside of his car said, oops. Look at this pacer float down the tracks. Oh, there we go. The wheels materialised. Well, I don't need the wipers anymore, do we? It's sunny again. Right. No, I don't want engines to stop. I want wipers. Wipers. Get the bell. Hello. Been, uh... Oh, I forgot to park the wiper, didn't I? been watching your adventures as you cruise around part of the world. That's better. Better wipe this from a good place. The bell's been visiting all sorts of places like uh, Hong Kong. You're normally based in Singapore, I think. Or Malaysia, one or the other. I'll get yelled at for this, but they're almost the same country. Just one's got a king and one's got a dictator. But apart from that, they're pretty much the same. One of the illuminations from this scenario is just the sun, because, you know, it is illuminating the wet ground quite nicely. These little discs do not apply to us. As we cruise on into Blackpool North.
carriages are floating, aren't they? on the tracks. I think what happened is the carriage has quite a distant lot on it and the wheels don't. So the uh, wheels and bogies weren't drawing until I was up close to it. There are a few um, lod issues that JT need to deal with throughout the route. Most of the time they don't really detract from it but there's a few places here and there where it needs to be a little bit better. Tennis court, maybe? Looks like it. Welcome to Blackpool Mall. Using into platform three. Must be getting a little more used to uh, firing the steam engines because I didn't feel like I was actually going to die yesterday when I got home. Lots of sore muscles. Generally okay. Several of my neighbours rode their motorbikes out. You can hear that or not, I don't know if the thing cuts it out. There's a little gronk. As we come into platform nine and three quarters, in brackets three. If you're not familiar with um, Tinkerbell vlog, basically travels around, looks at things, makes music, sings a bit, eats things. It's just a good general life channel if you like that kind of thing. a relatively unusual thing while out yesterday on the uh, Garrett. As we came up the snaking S-bend towards our outer home signal coming back into Belgrave on the second trip, there were two young girls sitting beside the track having a picnic. So yeah, it's a bit of an unusual place for a picnic, but they were safe enough. They were well out of the way. That'll do. You reckon, dude? Is this an area worth playing? It felt like a service, didn't it? It did, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. Probably be shutting it down, I imagine. You'd probably turn off this headlight on the way in anyway, I would imagine. And you probably put the brakes into shut down, which is the next... Oh, you've got to put the reverser off, don't you? The reverser to off, and then I should be able to put the brake into shut down. Yep. Okay. You would normally apply... You, would you put this... To, no, you probably wouldn't put that brake on, actually. What else is it going to want us to do? Marker lights. make it quiet. There we go. Perfect. Now it should go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Leave the cab. Leave the cab.
Oops. That's no idea. Now, where is said marker? Is that it? Is there another one? No, that's it. Yeah. Posters. No, they don't do anything. There must be another one somewhere. No, that's it. Only a little bit of speeding. It's all right. Not a problem, really. Mark B says, I played a short timetable run and a train full of passengers had been abandoned in the sidings. Demonstrates train spotting is more fun than political party conferences. Well, yes. They do have issues with the um, unload all command, I think. We do still have some dramas with that one. Oiled up. Or as they'd say in the American Mid-South, oiled up. Because they don't say oiled, they say oiled. Wait for service. Oh, I've played this one before, but not on the Xbox. Let's go look at our Express Castles coaches, shall we? You can open that one. I don't think these have climb-up steps. I think they kind of forgot the climb-up steps, so you can't actually get inside unless they're in a platform. It's kind of boring. What about the blue one? Is the blue one like that too? Probably is, because I think it's just a different blueberry. Yep. But they're basically empty vans inside, so they're not very exciting anyway. And the only service that's supposed to have them actually doesn't. It ended up with a set of Mark 1 coaches instead. Hey mate. How you doing? You having fun? Yeah? Yeah? What are you reaching for? Oi, oi, oi. What are you pointing at? Pointing at the ground, mate. Hmm. Really quite concerned. I'd be concerned too. You know how you can tell they're not real workmen? Look at those boots. They are shiny. Real workmen don't have shiny boots. They must be management. Let's go talk to some real workmen. How you doing? He's clearly Italian. And, uh, shiny boots. Can't have shiny boots on a railway. I think my train will come soon. I should probably go over to the platform. Otherwise, I'll miss it. Oop, there it is. That's cool. Just in time getting out of the way. just disappeared, so I get to take the train now. It's always slightly disconcerting when they just disappear, isn't it? Climb up the steps. Close the door. Now we'll take possession. And then straight away we'll get up again. So that we can... Turn that on. And then... We're going to turn this one on. And we're going to sit down again. We didn't have to acknowledge. That's weird. Jeez, the keyboard's quicker. Arca lights, maybe. Instrument lights. You may depart as soon as the signal permits. Very good. What are our brakes doing? Driver's brake is running, so we must be sitting on the straight brake. We are. That's vaguely realistic. Let's get some windy wipers on. There's no assistance, and no need to run there when you windy wipers. Can you turn on this lamp? You can turn it on. Look at that. How funny. Now we wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting some more. Waiting, waiting some more, waiting. 
Mark B says they've done a nice paint job on the bridges in and around Preston Station by the early 90s. That's good. So who's actually got this route? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is there anything you particularly like or dislike? Signal. Wait. Wait some more. Waiting a little bit more. I've um, done well on the realism of railways, that's for sure. It's like, wait, wait, wait a bit more. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, oh, waiting's over. Give it a bit more crank. Not too much though, because we'll just start wheel slipping. There we go. Now moving. Looks like we have a red signal coming up. D says, I depo won't do that scenario. It was pointless. Yeah, it depends if you're a journeys person or not. If you're a journeys person, I guess you're stuck with it. But um, if you're not a journeys person, yeah, then feel free to skip it. It's just kind of a service. Better, a bit more noise. How is the game volume for you, Lord? Is it alright? It's alright. I think it's about right on the levels. Actually, my talking's not dropping the game volume, is it? Hmm. Okay. Beast is the worst thing of the ghost trains. This includes the ones you drive. Go to photo mode once you're a few miles out of Preston. All 61, thank you. She'll try that, uh, Mark B. I'm not even sure how you get into photo mode in the controller, actually. Good thing I've got a keyboard plugged in because I know how to do it from that. It'll be fine, as they say. So this time we're going to Burn Nays, which, if we go look at the map, I can remember how to do this. There we go. So we will, in fact, be going all the way up there to Burn Nays, which sounds like the kind of sauce you might put on eggs. Nice egg and bacon roll. Might make one later. I could take you with me to make an egg and bacon roll, but this isn't a cooking show. Trains with cooking. So sing out when you think I should go to photo mode, Mark B. 
In fact, sing out about a minute before you think I should go to photo mode, because uh, you guys are a little bit behind from where I am. You know, I actually do cook on the steam engines. I've cooked parma and chips, I've cooked a pizza. You just gotta get it into the right place so it gets cooked and not burnt. You could call it first fast food. That would be funny. Trouble is railway first class food's probably a, a sausage roll and a cream bun. Rail van bogged in the mud. Artful says I've steamed fish on a truck engine in aluminium foil. Why not? Get creative in your cooking. A yellow signal has gone green, so let's throttle up. Go for throttle up, Challenger. No! Nope. Z says, never had first class food. Too fussy. Fair enough. We're back here again. Hey brother, what you up to? Your boots are still shiny. You'll have to do some work so your boots aren't shiny anymore. Why now? Mark B says try when the line splits around Portland Field. Okay. I think they've changed the um, illumination. I think it's less bright than it used to be. It's still a bit bright, but it's a lot less bright in the middle of the day. We're going to try something. We have started that. to have a red signal coming up. Oh, it's the one that changes, isn't it? That's okay, I'll get our speed down. Like I'm supposed to. So I'm not being naughty. signal that just changes when you get near it. Maybe it's not. No, it's a bit early for that one. Oh well. I can't actually... Oh, I can see the outline of the signal, but I can't see what colour it is down there yet.
The wonder badger says those British workmen are accurately simulated, standing around doing nothing useful. It's what helped make Britain what it is today. <laughs> oh, that's a bit mean. C says, I think they need to, as a whole, need to tone down the brightness and also the shadow that runs the tracks in front of the train. Oh, I'd love to get just get rid of the shadow that runs down the tracks in front of the trains. I don't think it adds anything, and it looks terrible. It really does. Because um, the track in, in Train Sim Classic and some of the other train games looks just as good, but they don't have those shadows. Interestingly, there was a new release of another train game in Unreal, which came out as a brief prologue, and it's got the same shadow crap. Makes me wonder if they pinched it. Is it actually raining or not? I can't tell. I don't think it is, is it? Oh, there's my personal pet hate. Geometric patterns in the scenery. The country... Oops, sorry. County of Somerset. Hello, County of Somerset. Let's go around. to see if it changes, but it may not. Actually, it will, because it's a diversion signal, isn't it? So it should actually change. And it did. Going into the loop. pocket. Okay. We're being just fine, so someone can pass us, I think. See, the British people can make all the British jokes they want. It's perfectly fine with me. an expert. Explains a lot about her, really. Who said that? No, didn't say that. I wasn't here. This isn't recorded. No, it's not going to be on the internet forever. No, it's fine. While that's busy crawling into the loop, let's visit the world's laziest cow. They're very low resolution, the cows, aren't they? They've been that resolution right along. You think we could get some real cows? Artful is from Somerset. Cool. With an OOR as distinct from an OOR. That's how it is. I just realised. Yeah. Artful says, I hear the game of the year 2023 is likely to be bluey. That wouldn't surprise me at all. If it's based on sales. C says, the UK is a shit show. We're so far behind on train technology and everything. Oh, you're probably not too bad on train technology, I suppose. I was having a discussion with a um, person from the US who was crowing about how trains are still made in America. And I pointed out they're actually not. They're uh, either made in Germany or Mexico, and they're brought over as kits and assembled in America. They're not made there at all. I was kind of annoyed at that small element of truth. That's okay. That's the whole point in telling him. It was to make him slightly annoyed. I can cut putting my tea bag in. I can't find it. Hmm. I, think I took it away from my desk to empty all the tea bags out and I didn't bring it back. That was silly. 
I shall just have to put up with tea getting more and more bitter. The signal for the loop is all the way down the other end, so we've got plenty of time. Almost clear of the main line now. Clear of the main line. So whatever's following us should turn up soon. cruise into the sunlight. I need a pair of these, what do you reckon? There we go. Now we can look into the sunlight. Trouble is you can't see the rest of the train. They probably do have a Made in America stamp on them. I suppose I should stop. Actually, the signal's all the way down there. Pacer! We got sidelined for a pacer. Do you know if I do this right, unless there's two trains, I might not have to stop. I'll just slow down a little bit. Release that. Three minutes late. No tea. Half the field with lots of tractor poo. Probably am going to have to stop. It's annoying. Oh well. For a moment while we wait for the brakes to come on. Enjoy the smoke. I do like the way it falls down, but um, it would probably go up. I'd say Australia's trains are any better, by the way. Most of ours are made in Germany, too. Yeah, the signal box has windows. It's got an open door. Well, you know what we have to do now, don't you? hold up the entire network so we can uh, go look in the signal box because it's got an open door and a toilet there's finally a toilet in the game it's a proper thunder box too hey mate how you doing Sorry about um, just blocking your line there. Do you know your uh, stool's over? Do you want to pick up your stool? Might be a good idea. You got any levers pulled? None. No one's going anywhere, mate. Nice bag. Selwick. Are we actually in Selwick? Ooh, good for the golf bag. Entirely accidentally. What have we got on here? The British Railways train register book. 
northern section. And the working timetable. There you go. Oh, isn't that nice? He's got a little uh, tartan thing. Oops, stuck. Oops, stuck. I still can't get over that there is finally a toilet in Train Sim World. Take that, Matt Peddleston. A toilet. Stuck under the stairs. We better go back to our train. Hello, Florian. Hello, Victorian Railway Productions. We just abandoned our train to go and look at a toilet. Okay. There we go. All right. Brakes off. At Rattle 61, I agree, it should be a pink one. Thanks, C. Yes, I found the toilet a while ago, but I thought I'd show it off. And I think we should probably make that into a short, you know. That would be a funny short. Artful says it's not the only one. Mm -hmm. Multiple toilets. I am sad that you can't get in. It is a bit annoying that you can't get into the toilet. chunks of bricks everywhere. I think it's funny that when uh, people model an abandoned platform in Transient World, they put bricks all over the place. But why? Why would they even be there? Full bananas. Wheel slip central. Entirely possible. Oh, the locomotive cured its own wheel slip. That's good. And Artful says there's a set of them in one of the stations. They are in a rocky state, though. Well, that's most public toilets. How are you feeling about Blackpool branches? bad, wasn't it? Patriotal says they should have added a flush function as Dovetail had the sound. Oh, we do. Back in the 80s, it probably would have cost 10 pence to use them too. In the 70s was only 2 pence. We had pay toilets in Melbourne. They're all gone now, they're all free. Not bad. Fulton La Files. 7.7 miles. 7.7 license to drive. Rails of Illinois says hello again. Sorry if I didn't really join that long in the chat because my internet was breaking up. That's because you're in America. You can't help it. I always think it's hilarious when I see an article published about how the Australian internet's behind the rest of the world, and I think that I've got a gigabit in and 500 meg out, and I think, no, it's not. It's what you pay for. If you want shit internet, pay for shit internet. If you want good internet, pay for it. It's that simple. Channel 
Seattle almost covers the cost of my internet, actually. It's pretty close. Florian says, absolutely love this route. So much detail. And we still pay for public toilets here in Germany. Yeah, we used to. There are still some private ones that are pay, actually. Some of the ones in parks and things like that are pay. And it does have its advantages because um, the people who use them have paid for them. They tend to look after them a little bit better. So where they have a choice of urinating all over the floor or the seat or in the bowl, they tend to hit the bowl. I don't know why that is. I don't know why it changes things to people. Then there's the other kind. We have the new unisex toilets, which are a very simple toilet. Each cubicle has a stainless steel bowl with no seat and a, uh, a little hand wash station. They're the latest flavour of the month. C says they have a mixture of free public toilets and pay. Patriotal says they pay for public toilets in England too. C says some are paid in England, not all. Brad says I don't mind paying if they're clean. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing. If they're actually clean and looked after and that's helping them, then why not? I actually did notice that um, in the, the inner eastern states of the US, things like uh, Indiana... Virginia, states like that, and I know in the southern states it happens as well. There's often a person inside each of the public toilets and they have towels and moisturizers and all sorts of other stuff. They've actually got nothing to do with the public toilet. They're in there getting tips, so they provide services. It's an interesting concept, but it works. And because there's someone in there, I think people keep the toilets a bit cleaner too. Florian says that was never a thing in Sydney. Oh, I think Sydney does have some paid and some free public dunnies. Rails Miller says, remember that unlimited un internet sort of helps you remain disconnected even if you're not set up to it. I don't understand that. How does unlimited internet make you disconnected? Very strange, lad. Christy Nago says Australia has good internet because they're at the bottom of the planet and the internet needs to go downhill. Well, the only thing I'd say to that, Christy, is remember that in space there's no such thing as up. Australia's only on the bottom because of mapping conventions. Artful asks, where did the word dunny come from? It's a very interesting question. Let me Google this. It's a strange thing to do in the middle of a stream, but why not? I've actually got a book about dunnies. Well, apparently it's actually English. It comes from the British dialect Dunnikin, meaning an earth closet, or an outside privy. And it comes from Dung plus Ken House. Duncan House. I don't think I'd want to dunk in it. Just say it. Well, there you go. It's not Australian at all. It's just like everything else we say is Australian. We've just stolen it. But then again, you know, we were started as a nation of convicts. What do you expect? We steal everything. It's kind of a game in Australia. It's not nailed down, you steal it. Patriol61 says we have that person in nightclubs in England, or did last time you were in one. Now it's probably a good opportunity to make some money, I suppose.
Florian says, I did leave over 13 years ago though. You headed to Burn Nays. Yes, I am. And Artful says it sounds Scottish. Or should that be Scottish? I have Scottish relatives. So half my family is English and Scot, but they came over on the first fleet on both sides of the bars. And the other half is um, Yugoslav slash Hungarian slash... We, ha we have actually have a title from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And I married a Greek. Just a round it out. Seems fair. A bit faster, shouldn't we? Although we're stopping relatively soon, I think. No, five miles. Not relatively soon at all. Christy says it puts a whole new spin on Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, it certainly does, doesn't it? Dunkin' the freckle. Thinking of Dunkin', you know, if you're not used to them, sometimes boys do end up dunking in American toilets because, you know, they're strange creatures. It's the only country in the world where they fill the entire toilet with water. Everybody else just puts some in the bottom of the pan. C says, yeah, I said it in your head with a Scottish accent. Of course you would. Rails of Illinois, trying to get in on the game, and says, have you heard of the song, You T Can't Touch This, by MC Hammer? Well, yes. I still want to know what this was. Does anybody know? Was it some building that got knocked down, or was it just sitting here? I know it's really there, because on Google Maps it's there. You can see it. But why is it there? What is it? What was it? don't know. Someone will figure it out. That song is many memes, Rails Illinois. Duncan is a Scottish name. We had a song, you gotta have a beer with Duncan. I only know one, Duncan. He was a tool. It's a bit like Kevin. If you're named Kevin, you're very polarising, because you're either a tool or you're really good. There doesn't seem to be anything in the middle when you get a Kevin. There's some generalisations for you. And today's stream was brought to you by the abusive people named Kevin and Duncan. Over there, it's quiet. And I go over here, it's noisy. I don't know why that would be. There you go, Brad. That's the one. I'd love to have a beer with Duncan. Duncan's me, mate. Art force is not a dram of whiskey. Could be a wall. Well, yeah, I think it is a wall, Patriot 61, but I'm just curious what it was. Why does it exist? Artful says, and some haggis with the whiskey. Fair enough. I got given some nice 20-year-old single malt for my uh, birthday. I was quite happy with that. Rails of Illinois says a Kevin is a male version of a Karen. Actually, it's a Ken is the male version of a Karen. You have Karens and Kens. Florian asks, was that a Slim Dusty song? No, I don't think so. I actually... I kind of think... Gotta Have a Beer with Duncan is actually from New Zealand. <laughs> but like everything else from New Zealand, when we like them, well, we just call them our eastern states and we steal everything they've got, like Farlap. Various movie stars, various sports stars, we just say they're Australian. And then Zealand does go.
It is a Slim Dusty song. How about that? Haggis looks disgusting. No offence to anyone. What it's made of makes it even worse. Ah, it's just meat and rice. It's just a different kind of meat. Rebounds and it's raining again. Sky looks quite nice, actually. I think the, the uh, new skybox clouds actually work quite well. Too. This is possible. Three miles to Poulton La Fylde. Florian says he has a bottle of 18-year-old Glenfiddich. No nice. Yes, Glenfiddich is a nice one. I prefer an Irish generally, but a nice old Scotch is generally pretty good. Christy says so the relation between New Zealand and Australia is like the relation between Scotland and England. Yeah, we pretty much hate each other. <laughs> It's like Melbourne and Sydney. Good, nat good natured hatred. Arthur says, or well, slum dusty in New Zealand. And this is true. It's the land of fush and chops. Christy says, if you're born in Scotland, you're Scottish. If you're born in Scotland and you're famous, you're British. Sounds about right. It sounds very similar. Except that New Zealand actually is fully its own country, whereas Scotland has been dominated. Florian says, lol, bread, choice A, bro. That's a particularly New Zealand thing to say, choice. That's choice, mate. Apart from that, they're like us. You. Just get up to the speed limit and I have to slow down. What's going on? Oh, Mitch is still here, but uh, one of the very interesting things about firing is for the next couple of days, lovely black snot. Mitch is also a fireman on the same railway I'm on. Ah, better slow down lots, I think. Because I'm going to have to stop. I hope you can actually, if that'll come through or not. And see how much it's vibrating. It's gone nutty. It's no wonder if the battery's run out playing this game. Do we need to try the photo mode in Pulton the Fylde or just near it? Artful says, I've just asked Tom on his Twitch stream about the wall and he wants to see as he didn't know what I was talking about. Okay. Warren says, Speaking of Kiwis, they're on Blackpool too. Pat Rattle says, I like how much they rumble added to the game. Oh, it's good, but it's probably a bit, a bit heavy, I think. It's like the um, rumbler in the big speaker in the rail driver. I don't actually have them plugged in because they know my other half no end game. Right? Table. 
Mark B says anywhere near. Okay. Well, we have to stop here anyway, so we will. And while that's stopping... There we go. We're in photo mode. spot a bit more further around a little bit a little bit a little bit more a little bit more there we go and ah. let's try this one that's what we want a bit more saturation a bit of vignette to darken the corners Bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. That'll do. Bring the brightness down just a touch. And then we take our photo. Done. I suppose we can upload this one. Don't tell me it's actually going to make me wait. I didn't see any weird then. Your English was published successfully. Objective complete. Head for the burn knees reversal point. Oops, brakes off. Throttle on. That throttles the 61 if I'm playing NTP, it's on constantly with track vibration. Yeah, I guess it would be. Because that's jointed rail. I didn't see anything weird in the photo mode there, Mark. YouTube's just popped up and said, Do you want us to insert ads for you? Mm. No. The thing I found that stops YouTube putting the mid-roll ads in is you say that you, your stream has critical timing and that you'll insert the ads yourself and then you just don't do it. Sooner or later I'm sure they'll get mad about this. Part of the station doesn't light up at night time. It's a shiny head. Bunch of men hanging out in front of the ladies. What's going on there? Especially the ones in trench coats, I worry about them. This is what Margaret Thatcher would have looked like with an afro. I'll leave you with that thought. As we head out to Burn Nays. Let's try another photo mode for uh, Mark. Let's see what happens. Why would you pick not the train? Let's just come around this way though. It's annoying that the smoke disappears when you go into photo mode. Mm, eh, about there. Not going to bother setting the focal point. And we'll take all that. Won't upload this one though. We'll just drive. Let Xbox deal with that later. Take a photo of the front of the train. I just tried that. Again. Maybe it only happens on PC, Mark. Oh, I'm gone. Okay. Where have I gone? What's going on there? What's going on there? Hmm. Vinished. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? 
Well, let's make a nice photo while we're here. Bit of a drone shot. That reminds me I need to talk to a guy. There we go. We'll keep this one. Need to talk to a guy that's been making lots of drone shots of Puffin Billy and I know who he is because he's going to get in the poo. Florian says, I got a nice shot yesterday of me waiting in the... 47, waiting for a pacer to pass at this station. I was headed to Burn Nays. Max is no driver. Yes. Artful says the wall was the ex Kirkham flyover. Okay, so that used to be another track crossing one of these tracks. That's kind of cool. Good to know. Thank you very much, Artful. And this happens frequently. What I suspect that is, is the drivers getting drawn on one tick of the game and the locomotives getting drawn on another tick of the game. And in photo mode, you've got one tick or the other. So you're not seeing the driver. And AI drivers do miss, do disappear in TSW. They do very much do that. So do passengers disappear sometimes. The other thing that occasionally happens is um, being shot off into space. That's always funny. The first time I tested Flying Scotsman that happened. says Mark remembered there are a few images on it most is gone now as we're moved to build the overhead line work fair enough Ruttle says the driver is probably an animation which is not in photo mode that would be my guess yes stop on the outer so we will have to stop at some point in the not too distant future which is not that surprising because we're not too far from the end of the line greenhouses growing people's marijuana Dark says the smoke is a particle effect, so it's missing, but the rain isn't a particle effect, so it's in the shot. Smoke is part particle effects, yes. Do what I notice. It's another abandoned station with bricks all over it. Never understand why our brand inspirations are covered in bricks. It just doesn't seem to make sense, really. Orion asks, how does this route rate for me? Visually, it's one of the better ones. There's a lot of detail in it. Surprising detail, because there's stuff that you, you would only see eight, nine times when you play the game, like this giant 
could be a petrol refinery or a uh, chemical plant over here on the right. And this thing's massive. And you only see it when you come up here. Oops. So it is huge. Look at this thing. The amount of work that must have gone into that. What I'm hoping is that these tracks will get used in future gameplay packs, maybe. That would be cool. Some of them are accessible from pre-roam mode, some of them aren't. And some of them you can put a train on them, but because it's outside the playable area, you can't actually get to them. So I hope they open those up for a gameplay pack in the future one day, that would be good. I know not everybody likes gameplay packs, but I kind of like them. Um, operationally, yeah, it's fun. There's enough, enough stuff happening. And for what is essentially a set of country branch lines, it's, um, except for Blackpool, of course, it, it's actually fairly busy. I don't know if it's artificially busy or if they used a real timetable or not. I'd love to see stock over there. It seems seems strange that those big yards are empty. So is it my favourite route of all time in the game? No. But it's an okay one. It is up there with the trend of the latest visuals on routes. But I think all of the um, developers are have really pulled their digit out for the visuals on routes now. They're all quite different. Uh, another station covered in bricks. This one's getting ready for the overhead work. Hence the big reels of cable that are everywhere. And the only reason they don't get stolen for the copper is because they're very heavy. Tam Walker says, I'm looking forward to Rivet Glasgow gameplay pack, so I'm with you on that. Yeah, cool. I do quite like... Oops, I should probably slow down a bit more. Let's put the end of line marker on too, because it's not far away. I like a gameplay pack because they bring you back to the route, and unless you're one of the people that's playing through the entire journey, you'll play for a while and then you move on to the next big thing, and the other ones get forgotten, whereas the gameplay packs tend to bring them back, and you play them again. And the gameplay back, they're quite cheap, and you get another four, five, six hours out of them. Uh, to me, they're quite a reasonable thing. at the spot where you push back into the sidings. Yeah, the pace there is good. Given that it's a, um, a train that everybody would have liked to hate originally. I'm sad that you can't walk up this path. This, this path clearly goes somewhere. You can't walk up there, I've tried. That's something I'd like to see more of in Train Sim World. Rivet are actually quite good at putting in paths that go to places. The other, the other devs don't seem to do it terribly much. Isn't it just the 66 in a pink livery? No, it's a bit more than that. There's actually two 66s in it, and there's um, quite a few scenarios. Back has gotten through. 
Where is our marker? Oh, we passed it. Better stop then. We'll take the train on to see if the uh, track goes much further. But the scenario will get upset. Set the reverser to engine only and apply the straight brake. Really? Small throttle not off. There we go. Engine only. Someone's told them about uh, realism. Bush bash. Ah, oh, quickly ones. I don't really know why they like to uh, hide the world from us behind fences. Because I think people would be relatively reasonable and they know the scenery is going to peter out a distance from the train line. So one of two options, either put the invisible walls around where the scenery finishes or just let us walk out into the, the crap scenery that's not useful. Back to the train. If you try and walk along here, you can't go anywhere. And that makes me sad. Why can't you walk down there? And same the other way. So maybe I'll start a survey on that. What do you reckon? Should people be able to walk places in Trendsim world? Because to me, one of the main premises of this game is it's the world thing. It's not just driving the trains. You should be able to get out in the world. Artful says it's time to stick a pace up in the Christmas model DTT railway around the tree. Wish you never know. Drop into the forums and suggest it. Maybe they will. Backwards. Wait for the brakes to come off down the back, of course. Artful says, yes, walk around the lake on a rosa. Yep, there are. And there's others too where you can get up on scenic points above the line in various routes. C says, I might have to get it when it comes out. Florian says, there is very little info on the Glasgow pack so far. The only shot is if the 1 class 66. And the rest is a bit of a mystery. There's more to come. Ooh, smoke. Tam Walker says some drags, some freight, some more shit to do on the Glasgow route. <laughs> ah, that's one way to look at it. Look at all the mobile homes clustered around the oil refinery. What a place to live. Cancer capital of the world. Ralph says, why does the class 47 slash 4 air compressor sound like dynamic brakes on GE locomotives? I think it does. It's just an electric motor running a compressor, and I think it's a rotary compressor. 
Patriotal 61 says they don't put invisible walls, they have to make sure a player doesn't fall through the world. Yeah, but that's... you don't anyway. Because, um... I can't really tell you why I know that, but I know that. You don't. But that, that can be done programmatically. When you set your landscape, you can actually set the, um, the height for Unreal. Lexic Dark says Bernays sees something that you make your eyes water if you got a whiff of it. Although you know that burn is a stream. The other points are right. Oops, that one? No, not that one. Are the other points correct before we get there? Yes, they are. That was lucky. It's the man who opens the gates. This is all he does in life. Decent weathering on these ones. And the bogey sounds are decent. it is a tanker wagon full of tea of course it is nearly there Flammable tea, in fact. And apparently, you shouldn't put it on trees. Ooh, shadows. Is that a shadow of? Ah, the light tower. Fair enough. What if they light up at night? programmatic artifacts. Random gas bottles. Excellent. Followed by random employees down here, look. Having a toolbox meeting. I'm supposed to put the loco on that marker. I reckon the back of the train will go through that fence if I put the loco on the marker. So I don't think we will. Seems like a pretty good place to stop. that if you're going to shut down the cab. Sticky. Some switches, which I would have thought you'd turn those off before you turned off the master key, because they probably don't work with the master key off anyway. Come on, give me that one. Give me that one. Come on. Give me, give me, give me. one. 
naturally. We'll also shut the engine down because we can. And then once the engine stops, we should turn off the battery switch as well. So that the batteries don't go flat. This side. Oops, fell out. Ooh. I've crossed the mystical pipes. Let's go for a walk. How far can we get? Because those pipes are actually an invisible wall. I can't go through there because there's more pipes. Should just try walking through them. No. There's a gap here. We're going to fit. Yes. Oh, I found another invisible wall, though. That's disappointing. Can you guys, like, clean up all these gas bottles? Really worry me. Yeah, those ones. That's right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you clean them up. Good. How am I going to get to the uh, point because of the mystical mark? Well, that's easy. Watch. Back in the cab. It's a nice shortcut. It does work on the Xbox if you have a keyboard plugged in. Control zero. Puts you back into whatever cab it thinks you're in. There we go. Dunk. Hello, Chris Martin. How are you? Next scenario, DMU debacle. Florian says, I'm never drinking English tea again. Fair enough. Lexic Dark says, and there's the refinery from burning out those nose hairs. And Patriotal says, how will you get back to finish the scenario? By cheating, of course. Ooh. Little van. There's those guys, look. They've been transported over here. See, look, invisible wall where well, you don't need one. And I think we're in one of those places that it says meow every now and again. This one? This one. It's this one, I think. Yeah, it's this one. Insert the hatch key. This is tiny. Yay! Keep close too, do I? Lock the hatch. This needs bigger hotspots. In reality, you probably wouldn't bother doing this. Okay. One way or another, this is going to work. There we go. Yeah, tiny little weeny weeny hotspots. Come on. Come on. There you go. Blue. was a lot of effort wasn't it they just put the this scenario i think is specifically to show off these controls they made where's the blind blind there we go right 
Right, master key. Set the west code to break three. I used the train brake. Haven't I used the pacer on the Xbox before? Uh, no, wrong way. That's what you want. Press engine start. Wasn't the most impressive startup noise, but there you go. I clearly have not driven the pacer on the Xbox. We shall find out what it's like. Ryan King says, oh, the pacer finally appears. I'm intrigued. Okay, lights aren't right, are they? Maybe it's going to get us to change directions again or something. I'll leave them the way they are for the moment. It's going to push through all these points. Whether they're set for us or not. So far they are. Bouncy, bouncy pacer. Shut down the cap and change ends, yes. That's why it hasn't made us do the headlights. Because we've got to go back the other way. That's okay. Step three. So two up. That's the key. I don't think there's anything else you need to do at this end. We'll turn on AWS when we get up to the other end too. Up we go. Look at these glorious bus seats. Can we get into the dunny? I saw a very funny video of a pacer running on a southern line, which was so bouncy, there was a person inside trying to use the toilet, and they, um, the door kept popping open on them. It was very funny. I kind of think the video was made deliberately. I don't think it was someone being voyeuristic or anything like that. Gonna get us to stay in this end of the cab. Let's just have a have a look. Yeah, it looks like they are. At least a little while. So let's do some the rest of the setup then. Oops. Headlights. Haven't asked me to set a destination. Oops, wrong this way. View out the cab windows. A funny journey. Yep. You never know with the internet. Kill two birds type deal. This is true. Uh, that red signal's not for me, it's alright. I saw this red signal and went, uh oh. 
it's all right. It's not for me. I'm going just slightly quick. Being slightly naughty. Stop down here next to Church 2, as distinct from Church 1, which is up there. It's very weird that the sound goes when you turn your head to the right. And it's louder when you turn your head to the left. That's just strange to me. I don't think it does that on the PC. I think that might be unique to Xbox. Bouncy, bouncy. So we stop so we can go again, yeah? We have got the diagonal signal, so we are allowed to go. That is the equivalent of green. to turn the pacer up a little bit on my own headphones. It's a bit quiet. It's quiet for you guys as well. Florian, have fun. Just look. Something. This box has fewer audio channels, says Ryan. I actually thought they all had 16 channels. Which I think is the default for uh, Unreal. Will this signal stay yellow? No. I don't tend to react to the signals until I can actually see them. Right up to 75, and so is the pacer. No announcements, because we have no destination. It's the point that it starts to look like it's oops, floating. That's interesting. Well, that's a card and sharp that's supposed to be rotating. I had no idea that you could get under the pacer. Hmm. Right, let's use this camera. I want to go downwards because I want to see the wheels. And let's go backwards until we can't see them anymore. Right, still see them there. Still see them. It's starting to float there. I think it is still drawing the wheels, it just looks kind of like it's floating. The further away you get from it, the more it looks like it's floating. Oh well, that's life. Oosh. The 
of a fear. I'm only doing 80 mile an hour. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, Ryan, these are the modified buses. Infamous for a comfort free ride. They're not so much modified buses. They were actually built as train vehicles, but they use a lot of bus parts. They have bus seats, bus doors, bus engines, bus gearboxes. And they were made by a bus company, Leyland. Back in the weeds. Somehow we randomly ended up with where I wanted to be in the first place. Yeah, should use the other camera. Let's come out of the weeds, so shall we? Let's go up a bit. There we go. That's better. Why are we racing down the track empty cars? That is an interesting question. I haven't explained that. It's like the magic school bus, says Patriotal. It flies. I think it only does that on Xbox. I don't remember ever seeing that on PC. This next one's going to stay yellow, but I won't react until we get there. Did these come in the thatchy years? I suppose they would have given the time frame. Still, I can't actually see this yellow signal. Oh, there we go. Yellow. Down to the signal like a good little bus. Lexic Dark says there appears to be a bit more ground clearance than a train might give that loating feeling in the distance view. Actually, supposed to stop at this one? No. 1.6 miles from here. Ralph Bellinoy says, Isn't it insane to have a locomotive fitted with a 26CL brake system but no ditch lights? Well, there's an off topic question. No, it's not. companies do whatever configuration they want. Let's wrap in the 
the wilds. Going straight. Little friend coming. Ooh, blue and orange together. the one we're stopping at. Hi people. Yellow and a divert. Might want to lose a little bit of speed. kind of uh, brake apparatus on some kinds of American locomotive. Life likes the orange one. That's cool. So we're going to be backing up. Pretty that signal box hasn't got windows in open. That's a massive one. But there is a toilet there. you think Ryan King what has it been Lexic Dark says it's like normal Leyland suspension you get the spring rate right and what do you mean shock absorbers <coughs> there's two variations in the game one has dampers one doesn't I think Guessing you weren't on the stream before, Ryan, when we went and visited a toilet. Dry throat from so much talking. It's really going to be an exact one, isn't it? All right, then. Mm. Two yards exact enough? No. that then that's exact enough request to proceed ah, that's this one proceed at restricted speed <laughs> now we're going ahead or backwards though where's the marker which way are we supposed to go no we're going ahead okay so it hasn't really explained any of this. Mm. 
Yeah, we did. Better answer him back, even though there probably isn't a guard on the train anyway. All right, let's go then. This time for sure, Ollie. Did I just break the pacer? Oh, it's gone into it. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Alright, now in theory we're allowed to pass this signal. In theory. Tractor who's always patiently waiting. And Drottle says the shock absorbers are a given, the shock of it running on time. Ryan King says he'll have to go back and see. It's at the um, one of the smaller signal boxes. Sultry, I think it was, something like that. We go to St. Anne's on the sea. Bouncy, bouncy, they go. Tilt action. Like an efficient German train, except it isn't. It's along through the wilderness. Camera missed a tree. I thought you'd think about slowing down for that 35, shouldn't I? Really? I should. North of Liverpool. Yes, that is kind of where Blackpool is. Thirty-five mile an hour into this crossing, so that there's enough time. Up to full noise. Had any um scenarios go to the southern end of the line have we? we've done Blackpool North 
This is the Blackpool South Line, and we've had um, Bernays, but we haven't gone the other way. To Ormskirk. We'll see if any of the scenarios do. And I just pop all these place names into Google Maps and you can see them all. fly around the corner. Run out of miscellaneous rail workers to taunt. It's a bit sad. It seems like an area of future expansion could be something around Leeds and Sheffield. Oh, who knows? True, I shall, but I don't like to leave the stream. Fair enough, thank you. And Patriotal says, yeah, Google Maps is the friend of curiosity and geography. I think we're not that far off, so I probably want to start thinking about slowing down. At least not accelerating. Just let gravity do its thing. It's a nice footbridge here. Fairly ornate. Doesn't look so hot close up, but uh, it's a nice model. past the row houses. How do you know which one's yours? The barber pole hasn't started to light up yet, given that we're only a mile away. Caravans in the game before, or are they unique to this route? I really don't remember. Right, 
King says, I love geography, and TSW has helped with that. At least five countries. Yep, 123 to go. Testnet Shoss Bridge, says Ryan. Rustic, says Patriotal. Yes. Fun Artful, thank you for joining in. Sleep well. I guess we're supposed to couple with that. So I had best come down to a more reasonable speed. stop right before it or when I've actually hit it. It's a bit hard to tell. Hard to get into a good spot. Couple to it. Now what? Find the tiny hotspot with your controller and press the couple button. For two seconds. If I can get on it, I would. So close. Yay. Now, why did the other one go bouncy when we coupled to it then? Interesting. Do I plan on doing a trivia stream with this release? I would like to do more trivia streams, but YouTube changed the way chat worked. And it means that people see the videos at different times. Set the tail lights to the off position. Need to turn our headlights off too here. But it never told me to turn them on here, so we'll go and do that over there. I wish I opened the doors, shouldn't I? That might be a good idea. Let's jump back in the chair. Sounds like they will unlock even with the master key off. Indeed they did. Passengers must not pass this point. Grr. Get the light switch. people or anything we're just going to rescue the train it's very mean stop at the Preston parcel platform how did 
they leave the brakes at the other end? That's an interesting question. Actually set a destination. I wonder if these people will get in. Just curious. No. They will not. I'm sure there's a keyboard shortcut for this thing so I don't have to do this. Breaks off. I oh, wouldn't turn on AWS at this end. It should go ding, but it doesn't. Drag our dead pacer away. by people. Yeah, it looks like this scenario is a rescue mission, Patriotal. So when you look at the scenarios from the menus, you get a description, but when you just flip through one after the other, you don't get any kind of description. It's up to the scenario builder to pop that in as a text thing. And it looks like just trains probably didn't know to do that, so they didn't. This scenario has everything from panels to coupling. And we'll leave that alone, Ryan King. I will find a way to do the trivia things again. I've been thinking of um, Mentimeter. So I might give that a try. It's Mintimeter. Oh, I won't give the address, but it's a a question or quiz app, and you don't actually have to download the app. You can just use their website, even from a phone. It works fine. You don't have to log in. You don't have to give any personal details. So I might give that a try. It's 13 miles to Preston, so off we go. Benjamin's brain in a jar says if you press up and down the left stick you can zoom in and out. Makes fiddly buttons easier to reach. Yeah, I, I know the zoom, but on this train they're actually so small it's um, very hard to get on them. Most things have a hot spot around the button that's quite big. So if we look at our signal buzzer for example you've got to be right on the thing to actually get the hot spot. Back with the bouncing, you can see. But lots of things make them bigger. No cake for them in Ged. Indeed, Ryan. Richard says, a bit late to the scene this evening. I was on a stretch of line earlier. Fair enough. Stretch of line. There you go. Just trying to think, what's a fly? But stretch of line. No descriptions, just trades. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Ryan. Out of the way. Drag our dead pacer into the distance. I wonder if this was at some point in time a goods building. It sort of seems like it, doesn't it? Like this is a goods station. And this might be an engine shed up here. Or the back wall of one anyway. Just seems that way. We were just playing on the, the Xbox this evening, Richard. Or this morning for me. 
doing a long play. I've just been playing all the scenarios, one after another. Benjamin's brain in HR suggests they need to introduce some kind of soft lock feature on the buttons, kind of like auto locking on FPS games. Yeah, aiming would be helpful. That's good Rail of Illinois, who's edited a couple of rail fanning photos a year ago from when he visited Arizona. That's very on topic, young fella. I'm not sure how it ended up in step three there, but I did. That's okay. As they say. Trottle 61, off you go. Enjoy yourself. Have a good evening. And Ryan King does like the motion sway. It is quite good, isn't it? They even look bouncy from up here. There you go. There's a good example of the bouncing. Well, it's a bit hard to tell. Yeah, you can see what they're really doing there. touch there's only smoke coming out of one of them Benjamin's brain in the jar I'd also like a center view button rather than having to constantly hop in and out of the driver's seat you can't do with the arrow keys because you can um, move around but that's not available without a keyboard so you can sit here with your head out the window like a dog Just says I'll just stick to my keyboard aiming with the mouse is much easier. Yeah, it is if you have that option. But if you're playing on PC, it's certainly easier. I think Xbox does actually support mouse, PlayStation does not. They both support a plain keyboard plugged in. love the bounciness. How unlike normal motorists. They didn't just go straight through after the train had gone. says I do have an Xbox controller on his PC but I never use the thing I might start using it again yeah it's actually it's not too bad so if you don't have a um, 
rail driver to drive the train. So I think Xbox is probably a slightly nicer experience than just using keyboard to manipulate the throttle and the brake. I actually use this one on the PC too because it's um, Bluetooth. And sometimes when I wake it up, it connects to the wrong one. It's always been annoying. Fairly steep gradient here for this line. Center. Says I have a keyboard in mind, but rarely use it. Is one of the keys necessary for braking in some doesn't work, and there's been no issue for a while. Really? So you can't brake with a keyboard on Xbox? Let's try it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Maybe that's because I'm accelerating. Let's try that. Hmm. That's, yeah, that's, you actually can't apply the brake with a keyboard. Hmm. Ah, it's interesting. You sure it's known, right? Man. Fog starts to settle in on the land. This Bluetooth is an interesting technology. Hello, Anthony Trains. Mr. 4472 clearly likes the Flying Scotsman. Richard says, rail driver interests me. I've been wanting to get one for ages, but the price outside the EU import duties just can't justify it. They are like hen's teeth here in Europe. Yeah, I got mine when I lived in America. So I wouldn't, wouldn't import one to Australia because the rail driver itself, shipping probably about the same as the rail driver cost to Australia because it's so heavy. I have literally had it for more than 20 years. It's the only computer thing I've got that's this old that still works. I have broken the horn lever once, but I um, fixed it myself. You can buy limited spare parts from Pi though if you need one. Matt 
Ryan, because he may not know about it, and they're on a bit of an accessibility kick at the moment. Which means keybinds have to work on everything. Oh, I wonder if it's the keyboard layout. Decelerate. No, that doesn't do it either. I'll just think it might be something to do with the region or the um, the layout for the keyboard. Because if you get the layout wrong for your keyboard and it doesn't quite match the keyboard, you have to hit the quote key more than once. something for it in settings. So we get this thing to Preston, have a look at the settings and see if you can set your keyboard layer. Ooh, it's struggling in the fog. Wow, sub-20s. We might stay in the cab while it's foggy. Just move it in. for anything on the Xbox itself. See if there's any region settings. setting for the keyboard. He has keyboard set to English International works fine for me. Is that on PC or on Xbox though? Hello John 907i. Let's have a quick look. At the end when we get to Preston I'll um have a look at the settings and just see what it's set to. Because I know the quote keys are weird on um, some keyboard layouts. Frame rate's not so bad there in the fog. Maybe it's not the fog causing the frame rate. Oops, got rid of the HUD. That's not what we want to do. Moving along back towards Preston, dragging our dead pacer. I think we need a. In fact, that'll do fine. Let's just take that screenshot. Hey, look, it's got a person in it, too. The 
speck of crap on my monitor. It was just in the wrong place. It just says PC with US keyboard. Yeah, it works fine on PC. I'm just wondering about Xbox. We'll have a look at the um, the region settings on the Xbox and see if that makes see if that lets us get that key to work. Because if the Xbox thinks it's an international keyboard, that key won't work. Need to set it to US 101. I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't use the key. Use the key there. Almost there, aren't we? We are almost back at Preston. I think. Yes. In the rail fan pictures, yes, on the uh, I think it's live.dovetail.com, something like that. Just let this crawl into Preston and I'll get you a link. You're under your profile. This is a link to mine, for example. Paste it? Doesn't want to paste it. Okay. Copy. Thanks, John. There you go. There's my uh, shots. Five hundred miles. Ironically, that we're driving a pacer when we get 500 miles. And if you don't know why that's funny, Bubba. <laughs> I am wearing some merch, but um, the, the ambassadors in the UK actually got given a t shirt. I asked permission to use the artwork to create one because they were not willing to send one to Australia. And because it's cold here most of the time, I made a hoodie. As you do. We arrive back into Preston. Babblebots upstairs are babblebotting. Hopefully that's not coming through on the screen. Yep, you can see them in the game, but you can also see them on the web, Richard. AWS does work. I still think there should be electric trains here. We are coming into warmer times. It was quite pleasant yesterday. It's 
probably a little over warm in the steam engine cab. But that is why we stand on the outside. When it gets too hot in the cab, you just stand on the outside, it's fine. The only place you don't do that is going over the trestle bridges, because, you know, that first step's a big one. You probably would not survive the experience. Welcome back to Foggy Preston. almost like a 66 but surely not maybe it is no it's a 47 it's supposed to stop about here objective complete what are we doing next Set the master key to off, but I don't think so. Not yet. There's other stuff you'd want to do first. Come on, up, up, up. said marker. All the way up there. What's the point of that? Yeah, maybe if we just sit here, this guy will get to go. Maybe not. Let's look at keyboard settings. We go to. Oh, I can't remember how to do this now. Settings, play up some games, somewhere, somewhere, settings. There we go. And system. I think. Yeah, language and location. Keyboard is English US. Yeah, so that should be. They have international? No, they don't. So that should actually work with that key and clearly doesn't. My language region, funnily enough, here. Back to Train Sim World 4. Let's continue this one. Next scenario is back and forth, which we will play, but I'm going to leave you for a moment because there's something I need to do. Be right back. You'll just have to talk to the chair for a moment.
Hello again. <laughs> uh, we'll uh, <laughs> go through the chat in a moment. Let's get this going. Back and forth scenario. Looting, looting. Munchies. We're in an office. Oops, I missed the door. What are we supposed to do? Insert the key into the hatch. Okay. I assume that's on this train. It's getting snow stuck to the windows already. is not working for me. Let's try this again. Yay! Okay, what happened to the passengers that got in then? Sit down. Don't actually know if we're going anywhere, mate, but uh, yeah, feel free. Blind, because you know, gunsels, they need to be able to see. They get upset if they can't see. Area that wants safety systems turned on. How interesting. It doesn't go me. That's because the reverse is not set yet. Versa thing working. Well, you know why? Because the master key's not turned yet. That would be why. Right, now I'll be able to do the reversing. But not that way. Very good. And headlights and windscreen wipers, I think. Would be probably useful. Come off the doors. Don't tell it's a Christmas special. I don't know. We'll see. River to the ones that made the gift scenario on uh, a Rosa, which Ryan talked about. We shall see. Feel free to eat the leftover cake, apparently. So I wanted two things when I ran away then. I needed a nature break. I also want some sugar. And this lolly's not letting me in. 
doesn't want to be eaten, this is clear, but I'm going to win this. Because I'm not going to let a lolly wrapper win. There we go. Stop the doors closing, I think. Get ready to acknowledge our buzz buzz mate. Come on. Get on the buzzer. So. Disappeared. That's weird. Oh, yellow coming up. doing in this one going to the token exchange oh last time I went to the Mitchell token exchange I broke the pacer first cow Ormskirk we're finally going to Ormskirk and then we're going to drive it back well okay that would be why it's called there and back That explains everything. Actually, I think in the UK, a lolly is a, um, a frozen thing, isn't it? I've only got two scenarios left, this one and put a Gronk on it. Lexic Dark says, because stealing the fat controller's gingerbread is a given. The fat cunt, the fat cunt, the fat controller. That one. such a nice guy. Why would you want to steal his gingerbread? Not that we need it, but you know. Why not? We will shortly be arriving at Croston. It says, yes, a lolly is on a stick in the UK. I thought it was a frozen, like an ice cream or an icy pole that we have here. Because here we use the word to represent pretty much any kind of candy type thing. See, Aussies are weird. Fair enough, Ryan, who likes to junk his gingerbread cookies in coffee? Why not? Yeah, the household vacuum cleaner has started itself up. 
Hopefully that doesn't come through the mic. If it comes anywhere near me, I'll press its pause button. So we always end up with the blue one in scenarios. Line to Manchester over there. No, it doesn't go far in the game. So stacks of sleepers set up, ready to do some re-sleepering work. Stacks are a bit close together, but that's alright. Tell us to set the destination, did it? Should we do that? Because we're going to Bournemouth's curve. There's so much snow on there, I can't read that it says Ormskirk. So there you go. You to have a red signal coming up. It's a yellow one first, which isn't on the map. That's interesting. It's not on the monitor. Frozen lolly is an ice lolly. Okay. Richard says, found on the internet, lolly is a New Zealand word for confectionery. British people use sweet and American choose candy. Yeah, we use lolly. Comes from the older British word lollipop. Lollipop is a lolly on a stick, but not a frozen one. I wouldn't have thought it should be optional, right? I would have thought you'd want to have a destination set. Yes, a popsicle, that's it exactly. pull up next to the little man up here and uh, get our new token. It's just on the other side of the crossing there. They're going to be able to see him or anything. To go? Yeah, good idea. Thanks. Thank you. 
the Hobbit. Sparks in the snow kick up. He's not an electric train. Let's see if we get him again. No, not that time. Look like they've upgraded Ryan King. We still use physical tokens on the railway I'm on too. In fact, this is set in the 80s, so no, they wouldn't have updated because, you know, this thing is just a radio. It's not a GSMR. Neil TV8, how are you? Neil TV8 is a fellow Dovetail ambassador who streams lots and lots of other stuff as well. Very diverse set. Going fast. I'm naughty. There we go. Stop being naughty now. I've just been playing through all of the scenarios on Blackpool, sitting on the Xbox. We're up to there and back. Let's go there and back. Back and forth, sorry. There and back would have made more sense. That would have been much better. Uh, Neil Tier B8 is doing a freight service from Burn Nays right now. That's cool. As you do. Oops. Objective failure. Well, was you just continue on to Rufford then? But of course, I went to emergency, so it's going to stop regardless. We could go back, but it won't matter. We will shortly be arriving at Rufford. How far away is Rufford? Maybe I'll leave that on because I haven't been down Ormskirk very often. I don't really know this end of the line. Especially not the snow. I missed a gratuitous bridge shot. How did that happen?
not need be. It's actually it's stop. It's, um, it's just a cautionary signal. It means sometime in the near future you're going to have a red one. To the passing siding we go, it seems. Ding, ding. Are we actually going to cross another train, or are we just stopping here because we're stopping here? Zero out, zero in so far. Where else could they possibly want to go that they're not getting in this train? Have there been any famous cases of a train being hijacked? Yes, there have been several. The Orient Express has been taken. Several American ones have been nicked over the years. There's a couple of movies vaguely based on that. Hey, look, people got in finally. It was, of course, the great train robbery. No, not right doors unlocked. We want to do that. And we're not passing on the train here by looks of things. That's boring. That would have been such a nice thing to build into a scenario, passing another train on the single line. I wonder why they didn't do it. Did I accidentally do something with the reverser? No. is currently driving the Kentish, got to say that carefully, Compton Rail Tour, class 33 at speed instead of going slow on the heritage line. That's good. Our line's top speed's 15 mile an hour, but I have to say that actually seems quite quick when you're doing it. Might seem slow for the passengers, but it's pretty good for the crew. Shortly be arriving at the solution. 
I think I would have read that as Busca. Crossings through here. I think we will overlook that Lexic Duck. Japanese porn movies are based on snakes on a train. It's never here. get this into the right place that's worthy of a rail fan shot let's just try and get into the right place ah. how come the marker's still there isn't that weird ah, we'll upload it why not in translation you think it's actually a really beautiful country so if you get the opportunity I encourage a visit any really fast way to stop this train just open the doors because if I press door open it will just pretty much stop or not I think it's sliding in the snow actually I know it didn't put the brakes on it usually puts the brakes on when you open the doors in folks yes no other there's probably some more for, uh, short clips to come I would think I don't think I've put them all up yet
Ratten. Oh, Ratten. Forwards, 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 forwards. Fricks on then. Let's go in the cab. Let's see what I did. What did I do? No, you're in forwards. Did I master key off or something? No, that's on. Any doors open? No. Yes. Random button match on the controller. All right, breaks off. Bit of a sneaky vape, you think, Brian? Snow on the greenhouse there. No snow at all. Plants are dead though. It's just growing some rocks. You think you can get away with it around diesels? Faint suspicion that just trains think scenarios in Train Sim World are like scenarios in Train Sim Classic. To acknowledge. I don't know why it's beeping. It's yelling at me. It's yelling at me. Brakes on, huh? You're gonna ram into the uh, the moosey board because we are sliding. Better go outside. This could be funny. Uh, I think it's gonna stop. That's annoying. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it was just going to slam into the board then. Now it's going to make me sit here. Loading passengers. Well, in reality, I'd be changing ends by now. Oh, 
beeps and still beep now. No, it's fine. We're going up the other end anyway. Just do all the things really that we would do. Preston. Like snow, good. How come none of you got snow on you? Well, maybe for a moment that was a just trains coat, but no. Guns will blind up. We'll have to make up some time. All right then. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go yet anyway. Why did it buzz me? Why did it buzz me? That's because I shut the doors. It's not the weirdest arrangement ever. It's two rival train companies so that they um, don't share. Twins. Can you uh, get out of the way there, mate? I want the gingerbread. Sorry. It's probably yours. sandcastles or anything. That's uh, a bit weird. You can wander around this car park. Delightful town of Ormskirk, where we have thunder and lightning and snow at the same time.
capsule. That takes their sand capsule molds and makes snow castles. It's fun to go. On. Give them heat. They can figure that out themselves. So, close doors, and away we go. At the start of this scenario, Ryan, we left from Preston. We're going back to Preston. Do you enjoy the multiple satisfactory beeps? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are we going backwards? <laughs> Why are we going backwards? Oh. That would be why, wouldn't it? You didn't see a thing. Let's get out of here in that really embarrassed way that people do. Lexic Dark, how does one make up some time? It isn't immaterial? Or is that back in five minutes, somewhere between 15 minutes and four hours? Yes. Making up time is usually referred to in railway circles as spirited running. Fifty fifty mile an hour limit? Yes, but that's all right. And they can build a fire in the aisle, that seems fair. We might need this though. Turn on our dear mister. Yes, I think I now have a sled made of a buffer. I have seen somewhere a, um, photo of a train on top of those buffers so I guess if you hit them hard enough you end up on top of them How fast do you think we are going? Do you know? Nah, is that all? 75 mile an hour. Stay down there. going to emergency break would actually help in this situation. Technically we made it, the doors are open. And it's doing zero miles an hour. Success! 
<laughs> Lucky it thought it was sliding. One of the more recent transmission models, I think. Enjoy yourself, Benjamin's brain in a jar. One fifteen, huh? I'm visiting family in the mornings. Need to get some shut eye. Have a good rest. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Enjoy your time with your family tomorrow. That's possible, Christy. Don't fit through the doors. It's actually one of the really interesting things about firing a train. Let me see if I can find this for you, if you'll even be able to see it. Fitbit's new app is annoying, it's hard to find stuff. That'll come up. That is firing a train. Going straight through it. Whee! Gonna go through the gates. It's gonna be all over in a second. Crunch. <laughs> ah, straight through the gates. Uh oh. <laughs> that was crap. <clears throat> and unfortunately. This thing, this particular one, doesn't have checkpoints. Need to add checkpoints, just trains. Yeah, we're running that again. Let's put a gronk on it. It's because I got distracted with something else. Ran through the, um, the gates at about 50 mile an hour. Oh, well. Hey, brother. Just pinch your golf clubs, it's alright, isn't it? At least some levers are pulled here. Just 
sooner or later it's going to tell me to come down here anyway. So we'll just do it now. on the marker lights and why did you make me sit in this chair that, that's over here over here bottom right I think yeah thirty seconds to wait whatever will we do I know it will do We'll start moving really, really slowly. That's the train we're going to go and pull off that locomotive. interesting. Seems the drivers get more creative on the horn sometimes. It's a noisy driver there. Disc pulled off yet. Waiting for that disc next to the signal box to come off. He should pull it off soon. don't have a disc. Come on, signalman. There it goes. see the signal from this side, you can't. Green 
waiting for one of those to come off. <laughs> Lexix reckons his question was answered. Seems fair. There we go. to get up and go to the other side because I think you can only see this signal from here come uncomfortably close to that one. And away we go. I reckon that person that uh, missed the train was lucky. You haven't missed anything, Rail of Illinois. Must not get distracted by Orange Pacer. Too late. So the Pacers don't honk their horns, only the 47s do. Is the point. It is a thing on here somewhere. Anyway. Back to the grunky donkey. couple up. Yes, that's true, Lexic Dark. It's more about what I hit than what I missed. 
Gunk. Yep, we bounced off. There we go. Now I can go and hook it up. the manual coupling thing. Or are they not close enough, maybe? Tail lamp. There we go. Now it says, wait for one minute, but reality is you go running down here and you do the unrealistic exercise of uh, disconnecting the loco on the front. Because, yes, the driver on the back would certainly do that, for sure. No. The crew of this loco would do this. Because the last thing you want is two locomotives cut in your braking system. Alright. Now we're going to wait another minute after this. And then we go back up the other end. of Illinois ask, can a driver keep the throttle open and use the independent brake? Some locos would probably allow that. Don't know why you'd want to. I don't know what your advantage is to do that. So we've done the uncouple, we get to wait for another minute. Yay! Waiting, 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 waiting. Why, what a big hose he's got. Does he get trapped behind a door? I think so. Waiting. I don't know if to do that before it broke off. At some point we'll get the signal. that door just to get rid of the thing. Hang on air brakes, aren't I? Yes, I am. This guy to come in. We shall creep forwards. We should get our path now. There we go. It probably wouldn't be that quick because the um, point motor system. Hello, Pugface Media. How are you? The point motor system would probably not actually let you change them that fast. We have got a small arm on the uh, left hand doll there.
no people in there this time. beating a record. <laughs> Four hours. Estimate my own strength. to come back. I'm for some creepy. up there, so off we go. These points over. Most talkative people have gone to sleep. Let's go look around. Water tower in the distance there. Shipping company. Some public housing. It's remarkably like our public housing.
killed you in a minute, Tom. sexual signal. So we pull one set out, we're going to go and push another set in. Seasiders, apparently. Whatever they are. Have the little disc signal down here, 45. all the way into our train. have been already be dropped. Maybe a little bit. Move little train. Couple. That's fine, Rail of Illinois. Enjoy that. closer. There we go. the train while we wait. Which I think is still happening. It is, yes. You can see that second from the right gauge there, it's still pumping up. Now we can probably start powering now.
Do we actually have the signals all the way in though? Good to go. to platform one apparently. Push this in and then we'll push put the gronk away. And that'll be it for today's stream. Then I'll make some lunch instead of sitting here munching on Skittles. Okay, we'll just take that as red then. Yeah, what are we going to do? We'd be uncoupling. Yeah. Well, carriages are in an okay spot, I suppose. They're meant to go back further, but that's okay. Their locomotive will fit, just won't be in the platform. signal to come off. Should be the little one up here. Actually, no, it won't be that one. Yes, it will. to stop.
can't actually go there yet because I don't have a signal that lets me. Signal person, what we doing? It's beer o'clock, mate. Something else coming in, maybe? No. Punishing me for missing a last objective. Let's try this way. where the stop objective marker actually is and see if it makes any difference. All I want to do is go to my siding. There we go. Signalman was probably off having a Tosca. He's come back and gone, Wow, oh, bugger, I left him sitting out there. Fair rail. Hmm. Interesting.
So back and then off again, do I? So it recognises it. The engine off button. Surely there is one. There we go. There's an engine off somewhere. I give up. Not obvious enough. Oh, actually, I ought to be in here. No, 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 forget it. Back to the signal box. You'll note that's the same train we pulled out before. It's Loco's now putting it back. today. Didn't quite finish one of them, but I'm not going to go and do it again because it'll take forever. Anyway, enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much for joining in and chatting throughout this, and I hope you enjoy the Blackpool Branches route. Uh, the next new release is Maintle Barn. It's not very far off. Don't have a date, but not far off. And I will probably go back and do some testing with it. Alrighty, have fun, folks. See you later. Enjoy yourselves. Bye. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.